What I'd like to do now is combine a bunch of spaces and create HVAC zones. Then we're going to run some reports. To get started, I'd like to go to floor plan level 1. I want to zoom in on my office 101, and I want to select the space. In my properties, in my drop-down, I want to change my number to 101 and my name to office, all caps. Click apply. I want to do that for all of these spaces. So I'm going to go to my reception. I'm going to select it. Number is going to be 102. My name wants to be reception. Click apply. I'm going to grab my storage. 103A. The name is storage. Click apply. I'm going to select my office 103. My name, I can hit the drop down and select office this time, luckily. I guess I'll make men's 104. Select the number, 104. The name is going to be men's. Click apply. Now I'm going to grab exam, 1003. The name is exam. apply. Let's do one more for the corridor. I'm going to select the corridor. The number is going to be 100. The name is going to be corridor. I'm going to click apply. Okay. Let's hit escape a couple times. Now here's what I want to do. I want to right click on level one and I want to duplicate view and I want to duplicate. Notice what happens is it gets rid of all of the tags and everything we had in here. It only keeps the model. I want to right click on level one, copy one, and I want to rename it to level one zone plan, all caps. Now I want to click OK. Now here's what I want to do. I want to create some zones. I'm going to go to the Analyze tag. Now I want to click on my Zone button. Now what we do is notice that we add spaces to the zone. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to select this space. I'm going to select this space. This space. This space. And I said I was going to add my men's room. I'm going to scroll up and look at some of my properties. I can add an image to it. And I can add a name to it. My name, I want to call it Northwest Zone. And I'm going to click on Finish Editing Zone. Now I'm going to click on Zone again. I'm going to select this one here. It's just one space. My name is going to be Exam Zone. Click Apply. I'm going to click on Finish Editing Zone, go to Zone again. I'm going to select my corridor. My name, of course, will be Corridor Zone. I'm going to click Apply, Finish Editing Zone. I know there's no space here, but we're going to add zones down here, too. So I'm going to click on Zone. And I'm going to grab the available spaces. Notice we deleted the space from here because the architect never labeled it as a room. In this case, we would have to add a space, but we're not going to. Click here, click here, click here. And my name is going to be Southwest Zone. Hit Apply. Finish editing. I'm going to create another zone. I'm going to click here, here, here. Then here, I'm going to call this Southeast Zone. Click Apply. Finish Editing. This will be Southwest. I'm going to click on Zone. I'm going to add this big space and these two spaces. This is going to be Northeast Zone. 
click apply, click finish editing zone, and there we go. Now what I'd like to do is come over here and I want to click on energy settings. So I'm going to click on energy settings. Now for my location, I don't want to be in Boston, Mass. I'm going to click on the builder button and I want to type Syracuse, comma, and Y. Let's see if it can find us. Search. Hey, look at that. I'm going to use daylight savings time. I'm going to click OK. Now we can scroll down and we can take a look at some of the items. So advanced other options, click edit. We can change everything that we want. So if we scroll down here, we put everything in that we want for our calculations. I'm going to click OK. Click OK again. Now what I'd like to do is I'm going to click my spaces and zones drop down. I'm going to click on color schemes. And I'm going to rename schema one. I'm going to call it level one zones. I'm going to click OK. And of course, we can change these drab colors all we want. We can change our fill pattern. Let's keep them the way they are right now. But under categories, instead of spaces, I want to go HVAC zones. And I want to right click on this. And I want to rename this now again to level one zones. Click OK. Now I'm going to click apply. I'm going to click OK. Now I'd like to click on color fill legend right here. I'm going to put this like right here. My space type will be HVAC zones. My color scheme will be level one zones. I'm going to click OK. Now if I move this over a little bit closer, we'll see that it's picking up our zones, but we'll see what it's ignoring also. Now if I hover over each zone, it tells me what rooms are involved in it. I want to come over here and click on heating and cooling loads now. And in a second, it's going to generate our building. Now we can see the spaces that we have in here. I want to come over to details right now. Notice that we're in Syracuse, New York. Go to details. Now I want to look at my zones. See how we have our zones in here? If we drill in the corridor zone, click on one corridor. Now we can look at it a little bit differently. We can highlight it or we can isolate it. If we go to exam zone, there's our exam room. Northeast zone, we know that we don't have anything identified in there. But my northwest zone, I sure do. We can select all of these and I click on northwest zone. I'm going to uncheck isolate and I'll keep highlight on. So now we can go through, but each zone, we can add its own heating information cooling information, outdoor air information. We can change the service type. We can do all of that. So what I want to do now is just run a quick calculation. So I'm going to click on Calculate, and here's a project summary. We haven't given it a project name, so that's fine. But as we scroll down through, we can see the building summary. This gives us our zones and all of our cooling and heating loads. Default spaces, corridor zone, come right through. Space name 100 corridor, it'll jump back down to that. Got everything in it. So if I close out of here and in our project browser, if we scroll down to reports, we can drill into reports, load reports. Here's our load report, same thing. So there you go. That's how you break a model down into zones.